crime and violence continue to be a concern, as always. Gauteng's newly recruited crime prevention wardens are expected to soon start patrolling communities day and night. A parade to mark the end of their training is being held at Sakane Stadium in Kurleni. Our Moloko Moloto is following that story for us, and he joins us from there now. Uh, boots on the ground, Moloko, is what we've heard for a long time is what's needed in um, uh, fighting crime, especially at community level. Um, there must be a, a great sense of achievement there. Boots on the ground, you are spot on. Foot soldiers on the ground, pun intended. These are the young people who are joining the, or you can say the crime fighting uh, agencies that already exist, the police uh, on the ground, and uh, of course they have been hired and trained by the Gauteng Provincial Government to help uh, fight a crime in the province of uh, Gauteng. My understanding is that this is the second batch, the others having graduated already sometime in April. I'm just going to ask my colleague Mohammed to show you <coughs> this uniformed uh, army. Uh, that are going to be fighting crime head on, we are told. And of course, they, we were told that uh, they are going to be uh, given equipment, for instance, such as helicopters. There are two that I can see here at the Zakanis Stadium and some motorbikes. But also we had the Premier talking that uh, they will also be given the high-tech uh, 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 what are these things? Drones that will help in uh, fighting a crime. I want us to speak uh, to the head of uh, the Department of uh, Community Safety. Her name is uh, Nonsikelelo Sisul. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your time. Maybe just give us a breakdown. Um, in April, others graduated. How many in terms of the numbers? Uh, are graduating today and in total how many people are we talking about and what would be their main mandate? Uh, uh, good morning and thank you very much for the opportunity. The main mandate is to ensure that they prevent crime. Uh, that's why they call crime prevention wardens. Uh, part of our uh, integrated crime and violence prevention strategy at a national level is for us to actually begin to prevent crime. Uh, we're often reacting because of the high levels of crime, particularly in Gauteng. We are looking at about uh, 5,500 now uh, because we also want to have targeted recruitment in areas where uh, the other communities are not represented so that they also are able to be part of the program and actually help uh, be part of patrolling and safeguarding their communities. The main main that is also to ensure that they are force multiplier to South African Police Service, Gauteng Traffic Police, the metros uh, in Gauteng because all law enforcement agencies combined Mind, do not actually have the numbers that are required and that's the drone as part of our e-policing program taking off just over our heads uh, to make sure that uh, they are able to multiply the forces not only on the ground but also as we, uh, we also have the helicopters that we've uh, been able to, to lease for now so that they can also assist us. We've just uh, actually had a success in recovering a bus that was hijacked in, in um, Pumalanga and then was recovered in Orange Farm and so we are able to do have some of those kinds of successes but we're also ha uh, able to work with the you know uh, our counter departments and ensure that there's CCTV cameras as well. Okay. I mean the challenge in our country is violent crime the nature of crime on its own it's just violent and uh, criminals um, they are not scared of shooting to kill Take us through the training that uh, these wardens were given. Are they even permitted to carry guns? They qualify as peace wardens, and as part of a peace warden under the Criminal Procedures Act 334, Section 334, they are permitted to uh, arrest, they are permitted to carry a firearm, provided they are competent in carrying firearms. Some of them already have competency in having firearms, but they may not necessarily be for business use, so they have to go through our program theoretically and our standards, our unit standards uh, practically and we've already started with those with the first cohort and we'll take them through that. Yes, they can carry firearms and we'll make sure that they are actually competent for our standards for, before we issue them with a firearm. Since the first batch graduated sometime in April, people of Gauteng have, have 
haven't really seen them out in the streets. Um, I mean, I've been looking out for them. The only time I saw them was at the Loftusfell Stadium when they were accompanying the Premier. Some people even complaining that, uh, is this a personal force, perhaps? When can we expect to see them in the communities? And um, have you, do you have communities that we have identified at, as hotspots where from today um, people of those areas would expect to see them? Ask you where do you live? <laughs> because we, they are in our townships, they are in our informal settlements, uh, they are in our hostels, and uh, they are around and they are visible, and uh, they have been seen, and they have been seen at work, and we have results. We have case numbers of people who have been arrested uh, for uh, possession of drugs, for possession of illegal firearms. Uh, they've conducted school searches, and there have been students, unfortunately, who have been arrested for carrying dangerous weapons, and so forth. So they have have been very active in the communities uh, in which they have been operating. All right, thank you so much for your time, ma'am. We appreciate. Of course, we expect that the proceedings will possibly start any time from now, and we are expecting to hear from the Premier himself in terms of uh, what the plans going forward, whether this uh, young people are going to be augmented, whether uh, in the coming years perhaps there are plans to hire more. And of course, we can only uh, you know, gauge or assess their performance once, uh, possibly after a year, where we would be able to say this is what they have done over a period of time. Okay, Maloko Maloto reporting to us live there from Takane Stadium in Kuruleni, and I'm sure he'll be bringing us updates over the coming hours.